Okay, so the project we're going to be working on is a pattern hand drawing. Pattern refers to the repetition or reoccurrence of a design element exact or varied which establishes a visual beat. You can see some examples of pattern here that you can use in your drawing. You can use line, shape, different forms, triangles, hearts, zigzag lines, all of those things will count as a pattern. Hey guys, welcome to my online art class. So because we're making a pattern hand project, um, the first thing I want you to do is create 10 different pattern boxes that you like. So I showed you those examples of what pattern could be. So I'm gonna write at the top of my sketchbook page pattern. So the next step after you write that at the top of your page is to create those boxes. In each box, you're gonna fill a different pattern. Okay, so I'm almost complete with my patterns. If you can see this one, I added some additional lines and dots. This one, I added some little tiny rectangles. This one about stayed the same. Um, these stay the same. I added this pattern. So I started experimenting with different shapes and shading. Um, this, I would actually probably add some more shading because this is my negative space. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is negative space. So my background needs to be dark. So you can have your negative space by just adding shading like that. This, um, I experimented with triangles, lines, and dots. And this one, I want to show you one last technique, and it's called stippling. And it's where you make dots um, using your pen and just doing that. So I'm actually shading using dots in my background. Once I'm done this, I will hold up and show you what my 10 patterns look like. And then I'm going to show you the next portion of the project. So this adds just shading um, in my background so it's not a white background for my negative space drawing. So hold it up. And here we go. I have my positive space pattern and my negative space pattern right here. My patterns are over here. My page is over here. I'm gonna trace my hand um, so it fits, it fits on the page. Um, I'm gonna go um, with five times just so my hands overlap. You wanna make sure that your hands are overlapping. I suggest also using either a really good pen or start off with pencil. Um, this isn't a color project, it's only one color. You can use one color pencil if you wanna um, do this in color, that's fine, but it's only um, just using one color, so keep that in mind. So I'm tracing my hand. It looks something like this, okay. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in one pattern for each shape that you have. So for instance, this whole area is gonna be filled in with one pattern, one pattern, one pattern until that line, and one pattern. You are going to switch the pattern when you go into this section. This little tiny space would also be a different pattern. Even in here would be a different pattern. So I'm gonna use my reference sheet, which is this over here, and I'm gonna choose a pattern that I like, and I'm gonna fill it in with those spaces. It's gonna be an abstract drawing. So you can see what I'm working on. Okay, so kind of like these little spaces, I'm gonna fill this in first, <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna save my easier patterns, I think, for the larger areas as well. So when I'm filling in a pattern, I'm going to stick with one pattern and go around my page. This is going to give me an even composition that's very balanced. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to go with my, I'm going to go with a more difficult pattern. So I'm going to do these oval shapes with the stippling background, which is the last pattern that I created. And I'm going to make my dots in the inside. 
and then I'm going to do the same pattern over here to balance it out. So I'm just sticking with one pattern first. I'm going to go with my pattern. I could even fill in this large area if I wanted to, but I'm going to go with this top of the thumb. And I'm using my stippling technique. Um, next, I'm going to move into maybe this area. So I'm filling in this shape, and I'm not crossing that line. That's going to be a completely different pattern. So I'm noticing where the shape is, and I'm not going over that line. I see my shape even continues in here a little bit. So all my stippling should be in here. And around with my ovals. Okay, I'm going to move on to a simple one. I'm going to go on to this one, which is just almost like a checker, but it's a not filled in checker. And I'm going to fill in some of those areas. So I spread my pattern around. I'm going to fill in some of the larger areas with an easier pattern. So I'm going to um, do this. And I'm filling in. Each section should have a different pattern. Now, your sketchbook is a lot smaller than mine. So you might even have smaller spaces, so I have that. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction, just like my pattern shows. So if you need to rotate your sketchbook, now would be a good time so you get those nice even lines. I even see that, whoops, I missed out on this spot. That's also part of that section. So I'm going to add some more lines in here. Okay, so here's my final product. It looks something like this. And I'm gonna discuss a little bit more about what my thought process was for this. Okay, so if your drawing is mostly filled in with pattern, that's an excellent job. I also have some line variation. This can count as a thick line. Um, this would also be a thick line, um, a thick line to a thin line at the edge here, this sort of shape. Um, I have some negative space drawing in there. I have just regular line. I have uh, my fish scale pattern um, repeated. So to get an A for this project, what I want you to do is I want you to think about how many patterns you're using because you need to have your 10 patterns. So I use every single pattern that I drew on this sheet, okay? And then I fill them in over here. So that's kind of like your checklist. You need those two components to post into Google Classroom. And then I want to see this. And it should look like this. It's not, um, you're not drawing from life. It's an abstract drawing just to showcase all of your different patterns that you have. Um, and that is it. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Your project is due at the end of the week. Once again, you have to post your pattern, please. And you also have to post your final product, which should look similar to this, but using your own patterns.